Hello, hi, Chegu Jaga here. Today, year three in unit seven, we are going to study about density. Okay, we are going to study about density. If you see the density, the first part is float and sink. Okay, you look at the object or material around you. Some objects can float, some object will sink. Okay, some object will float on the surface of the water, some object will sink inside the water. What are the objects that can float on the water, teacher? Okay, objects like ping pong ball. Okay, and then the branch, and then like plastic materials, wooden materials will float on the surface of the water. Okay, if you see the objects like marble, okay, and then uh, metal spoon, okay, will sink inside the water. Okay, teacher, why? Because of the size, is it? Because of the weight of the object, is it? No. Okay, the object floats or sinks because of the density okay look at the density the floating or sinking of an object is related to the density of the object against the density of water okay so let's see here the sponge floats and then the soap sinks okay the sponge floats because it is less dense than water okay so the density of sponge is less dense than water okay so look at look at the sinking object like soap okay look at the soap okay it's see inside the water okay objects that are more dense than water will sink so the soap is more dense than water okay so the concept here is if the object is less dense than water it will float let's say the object is more dense than water it will sink okay so this is the main concept of floating and sinking if the object floats it means it is less dense than water if the object sinks it means it is more dense than water teacher how to answer if the question coming out like which one is dense which one is denser or less dense like that okay let's say if you are answering the question like this make sure you compare the density with water like example some people might say that the object is less dense the object is more dense like that okay if you answer like that obviously it is wrong because you didn't compare with the density of water okay you must state you must say that you must say that objects that are less dense than water will float so you must state the word than water less dense than water more dense than water if you just say less dense more dense then it will be wrong okay so you have to compare with the density of the water so here i recall it again objects that are less dense than water will float okay if the object is floating it means it is less dense than water if the object sinks it means it is more dense than water so that's how the concept works okay so here water becomes more dense okay if you look at this picture the grape sinks inside the water okay so after she adds okay after she adds some salt or sugar it floats okay how come okay so they make the before this okay before this so by when we are looking at this we can say that the grape is more dense than water that's why it sinks okay the grape is more dense than water okay so once they add the sugar or salt here okay once they add the sugar or salt here the water become more dense than the grapes okay the water become more dense than the grapes so what happens here the grape floats okay the grape become less dense than the water so it floats okay so how to make a water denser you can add salt or sugar okay again when you are adding a salt adding some salt or sugar the water become more dense okay so yeah so that's all for today in the next class we will be doing some small activities to show that the floating and sinking objects and then how to make the water more denser okay we are going to see it in the next class until that 
buy class before that if you like the video subscribe if you love the video you hit like if you want to share with your friends please share okay if you want to comment or give any feedback you can comment in the chat box okay so see you in the next class bye